Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be going over what a blueprint interface is, how to use it in blueprints, and then just kind of give you a nice basic understanding of what you can do with it. So um, I recently just had somebody pop in a question within the Discord asking about it, and I did like a nice little short video, but then I figured, hey, may as well just do um, a real video on YouTube so that everybody else can use it and learn from it. And yeah, let's get into it. So going into this, I just want to show us how we can communicate. So I did make this little orb already. Uh, it's a super simple orb. Um, there's really nothing to it. It's a mesh and a collision sphere. There's nothing going on. Um, if you really want to know how I did it, in case you don't know, uh, just go to Blueprint, hit on Actor, and then under Components, add in a mesh, and then also add in a collision sphere. And from, oop, I didn't mean to add a plane. And from there, that's how you would make it. I also, one thing that I want to do is I am going to create a variable. We're gonna call this the name and we're gonna make this a string. And what this is gonna be, it's gonna be our orb's name. So we're gonna call this the time orb. I guess I forgot to delete that when I was looking at it, but and what we want to do with the player is we're gonna be using a blueprint interface to communicate with the orb to say, hey, give me your name. And something else that we could do is that for this orb, let's make it instance editable so that when it's on the map, we go to details and then under name, we have time orb. And then we can also duplicate this and we'll name this Let's say, um, uh, I don't know, purple. And from there. And what we want to do is that we want to communicate with these orbs using a blueprint interface. So let's create our interface under blueprints, interface. We're going to do BI for blueprint interface and do, let's just communicate. Name it whatever you like. So essentially what a blueprint interface is, is it kind of acts like a messaging service. So for example, if you were, I don't know, let's say you were texting another person and you wanted to know when they wanted to go out next Friday, then they would just text you back saying, hey, let's go at 6 p.m., whatever it may be. This is gonna be something similar. You're gonna be messaging another blueprint telling them, hey, I need this information, and then you can get it back. Or you can just tell another blueprint, hey, um, I have these variables, you can use them now, whatever it may be. So there's different ways that you can use it, but I like to phrase it as it's a messaging service because that's just like a very simple way that most people understand how texting works, whatever it is, calling, whatever you want. So with this, what we want to do is we want to get the orb's name. So this function we're gonna use is going to be get name. And I'm gonna show you two different ways that we can get name. Uh, so there's gonna be two functions we're gonna to wanna to do. Uh, I'm gonna do the first one, which is gonna be, we're gonna to communicate to the orb saying, hey, I want your name. And then we're just gonna get the name afterwards. So for this, let's go to our character. We're gonna also open up this. So this is just a free model that is on Epic that I just snagged up and I use it for everything now. Okay, so now we go to class settings. We want to implement the interface. Type in whatever it is, it's BI communicate for me. And then we're gonna go back to our orb and then we're going to add the interface. Now the key thing to remember is this interface is only gonna work with those that have the interface. If it doesn't have an interface, it's gonna completely ignore them whenever you try to do a message. So for example, if you did get controller, and from here you did get name, this would not work because 
uh, our controller doesn't actually have the interface. So therefore this is going to fail. And one thing to note that when you are calling any functions from an interface, when you want to message to the other blueprint, it ends up giving you um, this message and it has an envelope at the top right corner. So if I was to delete this, go back over here and do get name, you'll also notice the word message. This tells you that you are going to communicate with whatever blueprint you're currently dragging off. Another thing to note is that let me get game or let me get any type of let's begin play. And let's say you dragged off here and typed get name. One thing you'll notice is that you don't see the message here. So if we type there, you'll notice that their target is self. And what that would do is it's going to call this function. So if I double click over on interface on the right side, I'll go into that in a second. It's going to call this event. So you could technically call the interface event on your own blueprint. It's absolutely possible. But also just keep in mind that when you want to call like for player controller, and you'll notice how you can't connect that because it's not the same thing. So just remember, you have to pull off on whatever blueprint you're wanting to communicate with and do message. Um, obviously, if you just type in the word message, you'll notice that they have all these messages and nothing works here. So got to remember the name of the function, which is get name. Also try to also make sure that your names for these blueprints kind of make sense and they don't overlap with the same thing. Because for example, if we made another function and said, get display name and we went back over to our orb with our player controller and said get display name you also notice we have all these other display names now we have a blueprint interface which is at the top so we know it's right there but if you start naming everything exactly the same you're going to eventually confuse yourself it's pretty easy to kind of tell the difference because it will show you what interface is as well as um, the event, you also see this nice little symbol right here, uh, which is referring to the blueprint interface. And then you can also click to add this item to your favorites in case you never knew. Uh, so yeah, just keep in mind with that. I also just try not to repeat names because that would get confusing over time. All right. So let me delete that, delete that. So. Going back to our original idea, we want to communicate with the player, hey, this is our name. So we want the orb to give the player a name. So this is why I added a sphere. For this sphere, I'm gonna add a, what is it, actor overlap? Uh, actor begin overlap. And from here, what we'll drag off is you could do different things. So we, there's such a thing of does implement interface. And this will check if the character has the interface. So we could do um, BI communicate. And from here, we could do something like branch. And then we could just do like print string. Hello, or let's not hello, let's put our name. Don't worry, I'll show you other ways to use it, but let's go into here. And when we walk up, it prints time orb, and then this one prints purple. So we're printing the name. Now, of course, we're not really utilizing the communication that we can use, but this is also something that is useful for, let's say, if you have uh, combat enemies. If you wanna damage something, you can do does implement interface, and then if you they do have the interface, apply damage, uh, which is the built-in function that um, Unreal Engine has. So you could do like apply damage to whatever this actor is and then proceed to go about doing that. That's also something that's very helpful. Of course, we wanna actually ut utilize the messaging service. So what we want to do is instead, let's do the messaging service to the player and let's, do it's get name 
and message. But you also notice right now, our get name doesn't have anything. And just like every other function, you can add inputs and you can also add outputs. Now I'm not gonna do the output right now. I'll get into that after. But for the input, if we hit here, what we want to do is we want to get orb name. And then we'll add in a string and this will allow us to pass along the string. So now if we were to hit compile, if you didn't see it yet, now we'll see orb name is available. We'll plug in this. So let me show you something. Let's go into the game and we'll go in here. All right, so Unreal crashed on me, but just to show you if I walked up to this orb, we'll notice that nothing happens. So we ended up did doing the message saying, hey, here's our name, but nothing happened. And to kind of show you the whole thing is that, hey, we told this actor, hey, we want to get the name, but we ended up not telling the player what to do once we get that information. And that's what's key to make sure that you set up both sides of communication. So the orb can say here, I'm giving you the variable, but the player right now is not doing anything. So on the left side, you'll be able to populate whether they're going to pop up on the event graph or they're going to be a function. And to kind of tell the difference between what is going to appear as um, an event on the event graph and what's going to be a function depends on whether you have an output. So with this new function, let's just name it test and let's give it an output. And the moment you do that, you'll notice that this output is a return node. So once I compile, we'll notice that, hey, I have a green one, and then now I have a gray. And if you hover on top of it, it tells you whether it's a function or it's an event. So if I double click on this, scroll back in, we have the event, and then under tests, it'll take me over here. So that's really how you can differentiate between whether it is going to be a function or an event. So I'm gonna delete that, we don't need that. We're going to go back to here. And what this is, is that when we tell the player, here's our name, the player needs to do something with it. So for us, we're just going to print it. We're not doing anything fancy in this uh, tutorial. So we'll go through here and we'll plug that in. And now when we overlap, when we look at the top left, we have time orb and we have purple. So now we're communicating. So that's how you can utilize a blueprint interface, whether it is on a, another blueprint and you're wanting to communicate with another one. Now I'll show you the second direction that we could do this. And this is what's going to be um, what I'm going to use as a function. So we're going to do um, we'll just do get orb amount. And what we want is let's say we want to get how, however many orbs the orb contains. I don't know if that makes sense. Either, anyways, the orb is gonna have an integer on it and we're gonna pass that along. So we're just gonna be amount and integer. And now if we were to either compile if you don't see it yet, but you should be able to, and then hit this. And what this is, is for the player, you're not really gonna get an orb amount because you don't actually know what it is. But what we could do is that, let's go with, um, we're just gonna use actor overlap again, again overlap. And let's say when we overlap, let's send a message, um, get orb amount. And then from here, we'll be able to get an output. And then we'll be able to print. Or, sorry. Print. And we can plug that in. Another thing you could do is that when you overlap, you can actually promote this to a variable. So if you wanted to take this amount and store it, you would be able to. I'm using the print strings a lot just because it's really easy to demonstrate what I'm doing. However, uh, you can use this for many things. So if you wanted to get a variable from something else, or maybe you wanted something to um, do an entire function and then tell you afterwards 
um, if it works, such as like maybe you have an inventory system and you want to communicate with the container saying, hey, um, I have all these items, I want to drop it into the container, do all of them drop, and then you could return like a boolean saying true or false. Anyways, that's like something you could do. Not saying that's necessarily the route you should take with the inventory system, but hopefully that gives you an image in mind. Uh, but for here, what we'll do is with this actor, we're going to call this to get the orb amount, and then we're going to print the orb amount. But of course, what we need to do is on the orb, we need to set that up. And as of right now, we need to be able to pass along the amount. So let's create another variable and let's just call this amount, put it in an integer, or that's the wrong integer. Plug that in. Let's also make this instance editable just so that we can demonstrate that it's working for the two different ones. Go into details. I'm gonna put seven and I'm gonna put 20 or 34. And actually for here, what I'm gonna do instead of print, print, we're gonna do append and total amount. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna grab the set amount. We're gonna get the current amount, add, and we're gonna plug that in. That way we can show you that it's working, we're communicating with the two, and we are increasing the value of our amount. So let's go into here. We walk up, we have the total amount of seven, now we have the total amount of 41. And just like that, we're communicating back and forth. Obviously, it's just gonna keep going endlessly. And you may want to do other type of checks when you're doing such a thing. Just because you can just communicate with begin overlap, doesn't mean you should probably leave it like that. You should do other things, um, maybe like branches to make sure it does have the interface, whatever you want to do. Um, don't check every character for everything. Uh, it's not really necessary, but nonetheless, that is how Blueprint interfaces work. This is how you can use it for events. This is how you can use it for functions. You can pass along information by calling it in one Blueprint and then just getting the amount back. You can also have another Blueprint tell another Blueprint to do something. Hope that's really helpful to you. I tried to give you as much information as I can and keep it as simple as possibly could. All right, so uh, if you enjoyed that, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, join the Discord, all the self-promo stuff. It's great having you. Talk soon.